السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس دا ٹاپک آف دا کرنٹ سیشن از فیوچر آف انگلش آئی ہوپ اینڈ ایکسپیکٹ بائی دا اینڈ آف دس سیشن یو وڈ ہیو این آئیڈیا آف دا پاسبلٹیز آف دا اسٹیٹس آف انگلش ان دا کمنگ ٹائمس ویل مائی ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس وین وی تھنک آف انگلش ان ٹموروز ورلڈ دیر آر سرٹن prophecies, there are certain claims, um, there are certain predictions that are made. But, you know, um, to accept and to believe in any of these prophecies probably would be a bit too dangerous because it is only times that would prove. We cannot make a guess at this time what, for example, English would be, say, uh, after 100 years from today. Recent decades actually suggest that there are certain forces at work that have given English language a shape and a form that it has today. And um, we cannot, you know, determine what would be, you know, the shape and form of this language in the, in the coming days after a few decades because we do not know what kind of forces would be at work in the coming times. So, you know, What I mean by this is that the history of English language actually depends upon, you know, the, you know, the, the, the history of the community that would use it because this is how it happens to every language. And because it is a global community that is using English language, so, you know, upon the global, you know, context upon the factors that operate globally uh, would depend, you know, the future of the English language. One of the striking features or things at the moment is the expansion that is going on in the vocabulary of English language. Um, with every passing moment, it is increasing from different corners of the world, from different cultures, words are being incorporated into English language. We also need to question it and we need to think about it in terms of future. What would be the future if this continues to happen? Is it going to be like all the languages are going to be kind of a part of the English language or it is going to be something different from that? Another trend that we can notice in today's world is dialect mixing. You know, Uh, a lot of mixing of local dialects in English is taking place until and unless there is some global uh, disaster that disrupts this world communications where, you know, different parts of the, the world stop interacting with each other. This trend doesn't seem to stop anywhere because uh, through the mass media and internet and technology world has come so closer that the contacts are mm, very efficient and very speedy. The result is that the local dialects are coming into, you know, English language and they are, uh, you know, being mixed with English language. Think of mixing of Punjabi and English. Think of mixing of Urdu and English. That happens in our context. If you think of uh, England, for example, you know, inside England, other educated regional varieties of the language, they have achieved a kind of esteem today. There were the times actually when, you know, just using the RP, uh, that is the received pronunciation, the standard variety of English uh, was considered to be the correct, you know, uh, option. But now, you know, all the local dialects have gathered esteem. In fact, in the past on the television, um, in, on the British television, you would not see the anchors and, you know, the presenters uh, using any other dialect apart from the, the standard British pronunciation. But today, it is not only acceptable, but also it is something common. In pronunciation, such trends as diphthongization of the long closed walls may well continue and probably it would lead to further changes in the wall system of English language in the coming times. When we talk of grammar and the future of English language, probably the trends of the past thousand years will continue um, in small ways, you know, because grammar changes very slowly. So probably in the coming hundred years, we do not see much of change in syntax and grammar. 
more substantial changes could be caused by the permission of the standard language by usage, which at present are informal or non-standard. For example, in grammar, past tense forms like I done might become acceptable uh, instead of I have done and, you know, um, certain other grammatical um, uh, expressions that are considered to be probably incorrect today with the, with the coming, uh, you know, with the changes in the times, probably they would be accepted. If we think of language, perhaps more Controvers controversially, the reduced forms used in electronic media, you know, the kind of expressions, for example, when late is written as L and 8, you know, or when lol is used as an abbreviated form for laugh out loud, you know, these kind of expressions that we find in our messages and texting and all that, you know, probably in the future they would become a regular feature of the language. What we can be sure of is that the process of change which we, we have noticed, which we trace today, um, and which actually we have traced from the early Indo-European records till the modern times, this is still going on and it will continue going on. All we need to do is, in terms of behavior towards language, we need to recognize this change. Uh, we need to accept the, the varieties of English language and, um, you know, giving respect to them and equal right to them. Moreover, you know, the question is, why not to enjoy the language that we speak instead of thinking of, you know, how it should be? And why not to enjoy the written, richness of language that is day by day increasing. More and more varieties of English language are emerging. And I think um, they are going to have a strong impact on determining the future of English language.